welcome to Embedded World 2012 in Nuremberg. My guest now is Mr. Florian Wohlrab, Product Manager at Advantec. Thank you very much for inviting us. So, Advantec everybody knows, so we don't need to talk about who's Advantec. But apparently you brought us some products and I can see on your brochure the word Mio. Mio? Mio is something totally new we have. Okay. So basically we took a three and a half inch board. We put all the heat as uh, creating parts on the top. Okay. And on the below we have this Mio connector, how we call it, where Mio stands for multiple I.O. extension or connector. Mm -hmm. So it's a modular system, I suppose. But what are the key benefits of using it? So there are a lot of key benefits. First, because we put all the heat creating parts like memory, CPU, north bridge, power regulation on mm -hmm. the top part, you can have a very easy cooling solution by just putting one cooling plate on top. Okay. You have one coastline which is on all modules the same, all the connectors going to the front, so it's also very easy. Mm -hmm. And if imagine you're mounting it to a cooling solution, then you're putting it in your device and on the back you have access to all the devices you need like CFast card, latest technology, mini PCI Express, which you can use for GPS modules or Wi-Fi modules. Okay. You have unified screw holes, so that means you can make your mechanical design mount the sport and okay. later if you figure out the CPU power is not enough, you just remove the sport, take a more powerful CPU board and put it okay. in. So sets us just some of the key benefits. The major key benefit, if I may tell you, is about the Mio connector. For the Mio connector you're just getting a board and you have some IOs, but you can also buy some additional output modules like okay. this. It's called Mio extension boards and mm -hmm. this modules you just can plug to the board and you have without any cabling four more LAN ports. I see. You could have serial ports and so on. So it's a nice feature. And the best thing is this Mio connector is an open standard. Okay. So everyone can design his own board. So I sorry. No, keep on. Maybe you know the COM concept, computer or module. Yeah. You're getting a module, you are putting it on your own developed board and then your hardware is starting. Our Mio concept is similar, but it's a bridge between a standard single board computer where you have just a limited IOs and mostly not the one you need and COM module where you can do everything by yourself. With our Mio concept, you're just getting the board, you're powering it up and it's working like a normal PC. I see. And then you're adding your own IP, your own knowledge, your own board to the board and just let it work. Okay. So what do you do to support the developers in yeah, developing a board or whatever? Oh, we do a lot. Actually, also if you're a Taiwanese company, we have local support in Europe. So that means we have a technical support center near Nuremberg, by the way, mm -hmm. where around 10 people sitting and helping people if they want to develop their own board to support it. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we are also also doing, so if customer want to develop his own board, we are helping him with schematic reviews, we are giving him suggestions how to do this. We have a reference schematic for a big development board where all the possibilities are on the board. The board is huge like this. Okay. And additional to this, we are providing a rich software API which allows the developer very easily to check the system temperature, to check the fan speed and stuff like this, so he can easily monitor the system and the health of the system by simple commands like get fan speed, get GPIO or set GPIO. So that really increases the reliability of the board itself. I see. And what about the pricing of those support stuff? The pricing of the support stuff, that's a very good question. The support is included. So if you are buying from Advantech, you can have, of course, the support from Advantech. It's depending a little bit project-based, of course, but the support is generally free of charge. Okay. And about the software? The software is free of charge too. So okay. you are just going to our homepage, advantech.com slash support. You are selecting the model you bought and you are downloading the board, uh, the software. 
By the way, there is also a nice feature. The software is always the same for all our modules. Okay. That means your developer is writing one timer software and he's using the command get temperature and then depending on the temperature setting the fan speed for example and he's writing it on a AMD based platform from Advantech and later he want to change to an Intel based platform or something else he just can change the software is the same he's just downloading the driver from our web page installing it okay. and his program will run without any differences I see sounds good yeah it sounds great so but what else are you showing here on embedded world well we are going more and more into direction cloud so we think we are not only a hardware vendor, we have to difference ourselves. So we are providing more and more software services and we are quite proud to announce that we have the first cloud service in the industry. So it's not like the cloud services you may know from other big companies, but it's something more good for the end users, for the engineers, for the technicians who are building up industrial machines. Okay. You're installing the cloud server and you're getting the applications for checking your board temperature and so on just from the cloud. You can upload your own applications if you want. So that's some big topic we just launched now and we are showing big on our booth. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks to you.